Hello out there and welcome to Sitting Down with Schneider. Today is April the 14th and we are sitting down with Liberty High School senior Lucas Delgado. Let's bring Lucas in. Hello, Lucas. How are you? How are you, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for sitting down with Schneider this evening. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lucas, before we continue on anymore, uh, do I have permission to record this and put it on my YouTube channel? Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Lucas, before we start in with anything, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself activities you're involved in just kind of uh let us uh let us know a little bit about lucas all right so my name is lucas delgado i'm a senior at liberty high school um i have a twin brother we usually do a lot of stuff together uh, i'm fortunate enough to be best friends with bart's son patrick and we've had a lot of fun memories and i'm excited to get some more going once this quarantine's over uh, i was involved in soccer pretty much most of my life up until my sophomore year of high school and then i started getting into some new stuff like the improv team this year uh, I was lucky enough to be in leadership and I've also raced motocross pretty much my whole life. So that's pretty cool. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned that improv team and it just makes me just go, oh, because you're so good up there on stage. And the thank fact you, that you, you you're on the team this year and I was looking so forward to those shows and uh, and um, it got cut short. I mean, not to depress you. I'm no, just telling you that because I'm bummed out because I think you have a gift up there. I thought it would have been really fun to see up there a little bit more. Yeah, well, I thank you. But I'm, I'm sure it's not the end. Something will happen during the summer or something, so we'll see. Right? Right. Yeah. No kidding. Wouldn't that be great? Somehow get together a, a last improv show somehow, right? That'd be oh, great. yeah, or us come back next year for the next class or something. We'll see what happens. I like that. I like that. Not, not canceled, just delayed, right? Right, yeah. We're never yeah. out. <laughs> so how are you holding up during all this this quarantine this shelter in place how are you holding up just in general i'm doing good um i got acclimated i feel a lot more than or very quickly because i'm kind of like an individual part like I've, i'm very social but like with my school work and that i'm very like individualized and i like to kind of get stuff done like on my own so it's been all right and not seeing friends has been kind of hard because like i said i'm pretty social in that but um, I mean, I know that everything is for a reason and they're obviously doing this to keep us all safe and that's number one priority. So yeah, you're, um, you're working right now, right? Are you currently working a little bit? I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm working at the vet, uh, Berwyn family pet care downtown. Right on. So keeping you employed and, um, one of those necessary businesses. So you get to keep working. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, getting to help other people. And that's pretty nice because we've had a lot of like sick dogs come in or um, dogs with accidents or I mean, cats too, because we do those animals in general. But it's nice to be able to help them out and uh, get people out here with a smile on their face. So right on, right on. And are you guys taking like major precautions at the vet? Like is everybody wearing like masks and gloves and things? And stuff? Yeah. So I worked, uh, I work up front. I'm a receptionist. And so we're all wearing like, we're all, uh, we're all geared up and we got our masks and our gloves on and we make sure to keep the six foot rule. When people come in, they drop their dogs off and then they leave. And then we, yeah, we take a lot of precautions. Right on. So, you know, Lucas, I know you mentioned it and I know personally you've been doing dirt bike riding for quite some time. And that's a pretty individualized activity. Are you still able to go and do some dirt bike riding in the midst of this lockdown? Is that like a, an activity you can still do because it's a little bit more isolated? Yeah, actually. So um, pretty much all the tracks around me, like the dirt bike tracks I ride at or any of the places you can go and do that are all closed down because of the virus because a few of them are like state parks and that, so they have to close. But a lot of these tracks have problems with like people I mean people are get together and hang out so they have to close but I've been able, I've been fortunate to ride um like four or five times actually because there's like places that are just like land that you can ride at and um me and like one or two of my buddies have shown up like just in our own cars and that and we all gear up and wear helmets and goggles and that and we ride on our own so I mean yeah, I've been lucky enough to do it a couple of times uh, while still being safe. Right on. It's like going out on a, you know, you see people out on a bike ride, right? As long as you maintain that distance, it should be, yeah, right. it should be fine. That's really cool that yeah. you're able to participate in an activity that you still, 
really, really enjoy. How's the, uh, you mentioned you're a pretty individualized guy, so this distance learning hasn't given you uh, too much trouble, huh? I don't think so. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Like, it's cool to see what our school and our teachers have done, like, in such a short amount of time. Like, I know it must have been hard for them to be able to think of all this stuff on the fly and get everything going out, but it's been pretty smooth. And, like, we're lucky enough to have apps like Zoom and that to help us out and guide us. And we've had a few leadership meetings to be able to talk about stuff. And uh, my AP classes, I've talked to my teachers and that. But um, everything's online and it's pretty straightforward. So just follow that and you're good to go. So. Right on. Yeah. Now, how about the um, being in shelter in place and being kind of, I know you, yours is a little less because like you've mentioned, you're, you're going to work and you have been able to do a little bit of, of, of bike riding. Um, mm -hmm. Has it taken its toll having to stay home at all? Are you finding any problems with that? Or are you Are you doing okay with all that? I mean, it's hard, like days, I'm, I mean, my, my busy days are like the days I go to work and the days I have to do homework and that. So, I mean, it's all right. And most of the time when, even when I'm in usual school, I have an unscheduled period. So I'm barely at school anyways, and I'm home most of the time doing homework and working again. So my schedule is like half the same, which is pretty nice, but it's definitely hard not being able to go out and see my friends whenever I want to, or, I mean, that little bit of, um, just that lack of freedom. But I mean, like I said, it's, it's all for a reason, but yeah, it's doing okay. I mean, I have a built-in best friend right on the other side of my wall right here, and I got my parents downstairs, and we go on walks and um, hikes and all that when we can, so it's it's nice uh, to be able to get to do, like, new things that I haven't done in a while, like, like sitting down and, like, drawing, learning hardcore, which is nice because I have all this free time, so. Yeah, that, that, I mean, definitely, you guys have a really solid family unit that does make things definitely uh, easier. Hey, um, I wanted to ask, so when, when all is said and done, when, when this whole thing is finally lifted, right? Um, what are going to be the first or first and second? You don't have to choose like one top thing. What's going to be the first thing you do when, when you get that chance to do it? I think once everything opens up, I'm just going to get a bunch of my buddies and we're all going to go get like milkshakes at In-N-Out or something like that sounds like a good time or, or go on the boat or just do something all together because that's what I thrive off of is socialization. So it's going to be nice being able to see everybody again. Absolutely. So getting together with your buddies, whether it's a milkshake or on the boat, it's maybe right, a yeah. milkshake on the boat. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> why not combine the, why not combine right? the two, right? Yeah. Hey, um, Lucas, so senior in high school, you know, um, writing this whole thing out, you know, we're not going back to school. What's, uh, what's next for you? What are your um, next steps here as you move on from high school? So I think what I'm going to do is pursue being a firefighter like my dad is, which um, I've been pretty fortunate enough to be kind of shaped down that path. And I have a really good, um, good, pretty good role model to lead me down there. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is attend uh, Butte JC, the um, to junior college right next to Chico State. And I'm going right to go on. there for two years, and they have a very good fire academy. They're like number two in the state or something. So I'm going to go there and attend their fire academy and get my prereqs out of the way. And then um, once I'm done there, I'll work as an EMT while I attend college, and I'll hopefully transfer into Chico to um, finish a four-year degree in maybe pre-nursing or – uh, business just to have something else to back up for when I get older. So attend JC, get the associate's degree, and then go to a four-year and finish off a four-year degree. And then hopefully after that, I'll be a fireman and we'll see what happens from there. Sounds like an amazing game plan. I mean, both of those, such a, such a noble like uh, path, right? Whether it be firefighter or you go into the nursing, um, either way, taking care of people, which doesn't surprise me. Always, you've always been since, you know, I've known you since you were what, five always been one of the most polite karen awesome kids uh, i've met so um i thank just really you. appreciate you taking the time to to sit down a little bit tonight and kind of just let us know how things are going in your world that was really really cool absolutely thank you for having me i mean i'm lucky to be here with someone like you and have, have a person like you in my life oh thanks man hey real quick any last uh uh words of wisdom that you want to impart on anybody as we uh as we bring this to a, an end uh, I'm sure everyone's heard it already, but uh, don't take what you have for granted and uh, just know that everything that you're going through right now is going to get better. And then once the good times come, then just enjoy them as much as you can. So, yeah. Words to live by, Lucas Salgado. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> All right, Lucas, you have a great night, okay? Yeah, thank you for having me. Nice talking to you.
All right. Good talking to you too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.